So I told you August 28th marks one year since the first episode aired and I'm excited and in recognition of that or celebration of that it's kind of twofold because if you remember I said I was going to celebrate my birthday come August because I thought everything would be open back up and we'd be good to go however that's not the case but kind of twofold celebrating my birthday as well as reaching one year of doing the podcast I went skydiving and <laughs> skydiving is something that excites and terrified me for a very long time I'd talked about it first thought about doing it like back in 2009 2010 uh, but for whatever reason, it didn't happen. And then just over time, I just kept putting it off or would come up with different reasons as to why I couldn't do it or shouldn't do it. Uh, but I said that this year, I wanted to go skydiving and that was going to be what I did to celebrate 33. So uh, last week, I finally did it. The weather worked with me, cooperated, and thankfully I am here. I survived to tell the story um, and so uh, have some of the video of the actual um, skydive to share with you all, but it was a great experience. It was still very nerve wracking. Um, <laughs> It was just kind of like so many different emotions just kind of leading up to, you know, as they were doing the training and talking about it, then I'm gearing up and it's like, oh, this is really happening. Then we're getting on the plane and going up. And when I say from the time that we kind of got to the to 10,000 feet, the altitude that we were going to jump from, um, my skydiving instructor, partner, uh, whoever, whatever the title is, he was attached to me. He started just kind of once again walking through explaining what was going to happen and it seemed like from there everything just happened so fast it's like people started going we're sliding forward next thing you know i'm in the air like i honestly don't fully remember the actual jump i remember him telling me you know he was going to count to three and then it was going to be happening i think the code word was our keyword was banana I remember hearing it and then I'm in the air floating, flying, whatever you want to call it, falling and did not think I could breathe for a little while. So you'll see in the video, I'm like fidgeting with the mask because in my head, the mask was the reason I couldn't breathe. Not the fact that I was like unknowingly holding my breath. But anywho, it the fall, I don't know how long it lasted, but it was like this great, like exhilarating feeling. And then we open the parachute and we're just kind of falling or floating in the air and in such a weird way it was peaceful it was and it was quiet and it was just kind of very calming of like oh wow i'm i'm in the air i'm floating um i'm doing this like just kind of like wow it's happening and then just looking out because it was in um outside of dc in virginia and you know, at that point, I'm maybe, you know, 8,000 feet up. I don't know. But either way, it was just looking out onto the landscape and seeing everything looked so small, but everything looked so peaceful and also just kind of perfectly planned out. And it was interesting of just, you know, from that angle, it looked peaceful, planned out and organized. Whereas down on the ground, things rarely feel that way. Oftentimes, it just seems chaotic and unorganized just all over the place and I just remember thinking like wow God you created all of this like you you created all of this nature you created people and gave them the ideas and the concepts and I don't know who was the first person who had the thought to voluntarily jump out of a plane to take it in but I appreciate them for doing that and then for also training people and making it available for others to do it from a recreational standpoint, um, it definitely was freeing. It was a release. And then also I felt proud of myself in the sense that it's something that I have been talking about forever. And definitely this year, like a lot of my friends are like, oh, you really did it. Um, and so it's just like kind of proud to say, okay, I did it. I survived. It's great. And I'm saying this now, I am very much willing and interested to do it again so for those of you watching that you've thought about it but you weren't sure you want to do it 
let me know. I'm definitely game to do it again because I think it would be even more fun to do it with a group of people. So uh, like I said, here's uh, a video of that. And so let me know your thoughts. If you've, if you've done skydiving, gone skydiving before, what you thought, if you've done it a few times, like where, I want to hear your thoughts and your experiences. So I'm finally getting ready to skydive. It's pretty clear, kind of windy. I got my harness on and it should probably be happening in the next like 30 minutes or so. I'm going to lock everything up in the car and see you guys later. All right, Bill, here we are at DC Skydiving Center. What's your name? Latavia. And what are you about to do, Latavia? Skydive. Woo! Whose idea was this? My you. So you're the one to blame if something goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you think? Good idea? Bad idea? Right now, I'm still thinking it's a good idea. So far, so good. Again before I get out. Like That's before right. I jump. Uh, yeah. And then after we land. Yes. This is our ride pulling up right now. You ready to get in? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Ready to show everything. Woo! down on the ground what'd you think it was awesome you should definitely do it i'm happy that i did this what was your uh, favorite part i did it i survived i went skydiving and it was amazing i am very sweaty right now didn't know it would be a bit of a workout but it was awesome it was a beautiful view you should do it if you haven't done it i mean of course i had somebody attached to me so that made a big old difference i lost an earring my mask covered my face at some point but overall it was a great experience